Both of these women have been experiencing similar symptoms. Today, they're each visiting a gastroenterologist to discuss their history and treatment options. In a healthy gut, the immune system knows the difference between the trillions of good bacteria and the bad. Within the intestine, a properly functioning immune system identifies the bad intruders that can do us harm and reacts appropriately to neutralize threats and maintain health. But in an unhealthy gut, for some reason, the immune system makes mistakes. There may be too many pro-inflammatory cells that can cause an increase in inflammation or too few anti-inflammatory cells that help maintain the balance to reduce inflammation. As a result, it can misidentify the good versus bad, and the resulting immune response may be overly aggressive or not aggressive enough. This leads to inflammation and ulceration of the digestive tract and results in the various symptoms experienced by these two women. Today, both of these women are being prescribed the same therapy, but only one will experience remission, while the other woman will find little relief as a result of the therapy. How can two people with what appears to be the same disease respond so differently to the same therapy? This is one of the questions researchers funded by the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America have been trying to answer. Immune response research is an important area of focus for CCFA. The answer lies in what is causing the unhealthy immune response in each woman. There's not simply one Crohn's disease or one ulcerative colitis. Within each of us, there are a near infinite number of variables that can influence how our immune system responds to pathogens or to any of the trillions of bacteria, fungi, and viruses that normally live in the intestine. One's genes may contribute to an unhealthy immune response, or something in our diet, the environment, or in our intestine that may contribute to how the immune system responds. Helping every patient achieve remission depends on our ability to understand the underlying changes in the immune response that's happening in each patient. Today, some disease-modifying treatments are designed to dampen an overly aggressive immune response, others to give the immune system a boost. The goal of CCFA's immune response research is to understand as much as possible about IBD, its triggers, and the immune responses within both the healthy and unhealthy gut. Integrating what we're learning from the Foundation's genetic and microbiome initiatives. One day, a sample from an individual patient, either blood, stool, or from an intestinal biopsy, may allow us quickly to see exactly what's happening in his or her unhealthy gut immune response and to understand the specific causes within that individual. This will allow us to select therapies or develop new ones that address exactly what's happening in each individual. At the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America, we are committed to increasing our knowledge about IBD and its causes and to developing new therapies that help even more patients achieve remission. Learn more at ccfa.org.